women want something much more feminine yeah. as a decision that they vote they but know about. But you hadn't designed underwear before, had you? In my brain, Janet, <laughs> I have been designing well, underwear. I think of nothing else. <laughs> well, Lawrence, did you apply the same design criteria that you do to curtains? Yes. To yeah. Yes, and in fact, at last, having been vilified for 20 years about the fact that I make curtains that look like tarts knickers, behold, <laughs> Nickers that look like tarts curtains. <laughs> but, I mean, this whole project about cracking China. Yeah. I mean, where did that all come from? It. I mean, one of the things I'm, I, you know, I, I love and I'm very, very lucky about is that, you know, I can be quite relaxed and quite organic. I think it was a uh, uh, an opportunity that presented itself, um, and uh, I, yes, I think it has got midlife crisis written all over it. Um, <laughs> but I loved the idea that I could go out to somewhere that knew. Yeah. Nothing about me, you know, because I also did a very big show in Southeast Just Asia. Just as well when I heard that speech you gave them. <laughs> well, no, I, know, I, know. I know. I love the fact that somehow my OBE would hinge on the good favour of Victoria Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> What's that all about? Um, but that actually to be able to 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 launch a uh, an entirely new product range at 50 without being that bloke off changing rooms mm. was in fact mm. really quite exciting. And I know it sounds a bit sort of, you know, a bit kind of self-obsessed, but I think it's a bit, you know, like when um, J.K. Rowling brought out a book under an assumed name. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, well, actually, this 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 would be interesting to see. And also, I mean, you know, that that the BBC followed everything. You know, it wasn't yeah. a construct that yeah. came from the BBC at all. They knew they they found out that I was doing it. And just to sort of see how it went. And now the show's gone out. You know, we've now got 10 stores in China. I mean, we've done oh, incredibly wow. well out of this. We've just opened uh, another seven in Malaysia and Singapore, about to sign in, in um, uh, Dubai and the UAE. And it's very interesting because actually, mm -hmm. Britain is an incredibly strong design brand yeah. everywhere yeah. apart from Britain. <laughs> What's that all about? You know, here, we're all obsessed about design coming from other places. Yeah. But actually, China, uh, Asia, they don't want American. They don't want... Uh, they uh, want your version of royalty, love. Exactly, yeah. darling. Yeah. Yeah. Panto royalty. <laughs> <laughs>